Okay, what is up everybody? Today we are back again with another video and today we are again in here at the beginner series But we're not staying on lane for today. We are actually going to be starting our first Map expansion, so we're gonna be going on to our first DLC map and as requested in the comments And by you probably saw by the title and thumbnail of this video. We are going to be going over to the Yukon Valley so why don't we load up the map get a little introduction and then explore it welcome to yukon valley chichiko from up here you're able to see almost the entire reserve this looks like the spot to set the plane down. I'll pull up to the jetty and you can climb out. Now good luck to you out there. Don't forget, I'm only a radio call away. I'm quite certain that you're the part of the puzzle that we've been missing out here. While I deal with paperwork and people, you're gonna be my eyes and ears on the ground. We're gonna be a strong team. I just know it. And there we can see the plane leaving again. I just think that is so, so cool. But we are here now in the Yukon. But I'll probably have to replay that intro just because I forgot that I have my audio settings, the dialogue turned off. But let's have a quick look at our map here. We are going to be starting over here in the Hanson River Basin. And our first objective is going to be to go ahead and get this lookout tower and then get that first outpost. So I will do that. I will run around the map just a little bit off camera to just unlock some of the outposts or the most essential outposts that we're going to have to do. We're going to have to get for what we're going to be hunting today. And then I'll catch up with you guys once I got that done, but you should, it's basically the same thing that we did in Leighton Lakes. We're just gonna be running around the map Unlocking these lookout towers, unlocking the outposts, and getting that XP that we get from those. And whatever we see while we run through here, we're going to be shooting. Just as a very quick basic rundown, all the animals on this map. Sorry if you can hear this in the background. I did make a quick note of this before I started today's video. So what we basically have on this map in terms of species are the caribou, the grizzly bears, the red fox, the gray wolf, the plains bison, the moose, and I'm pretty sure that is it. I don't think there's anything else on this map, but if I'm wrong once again, like I was on Leighton Lakes where I forgot like two species, I will add it later in the video or you'll see it as a text on top now, but here we are now in the lookout tower gonna unlock this this map just looks beautiful in my opinion i think it's one of the nicer looking maps in this game it is pretty open but there are some denser areas oh i forgot there's also um what are they called there's also ducks here harlequin ducks are here as well see i knew i forgot something but yeah those should be all the species then on this map and yeah very beautiful map you will also later see that it's gonna start to snow and then Everything that's green basically right now is going to turn to snow and that just kind of changes and switches up based on the day. One thing you guys should know is if you want to get this outpost that is up in this corner, you can only unlock that by doing the missions. So you have to actually go through part of the missions to get to that point. I don't want to show the missions in my beginner's guide in case somebody actually wants to play through the game and wants to do the missions by themselves without any help but still wants the basic knowledge of the map so i might do this on a stream or just when i'm playing like i'll do it as like a separate video if somebody wants to see that but not too sure yet if i will do it because we are probably not going to go up in that area too much for our beginner series because we mostly want to hunt in the daylight and most animals that are up there are going to be there during the night but with that being said like like i said before i'm going to do what i just said go around unlock some stuff and then i'll be right back as you can see now you can pretty clearly see that it has been 
what do you call it, snowing, and we have a 5 medium back there. We have a diamond potential animal. I don't think he's going to make diamond because looking at his score estimate, they need, I think, around 430, but this could be our first diamond of this series because I haven't hunted Caribou in a while, but why don't we try and get him down at least? I mean, he is standing pretty broadside. Let's look how far away he is, though. Oh, he's actually basically 100 meters away, so that is pretty perfect. And let's use... We have the 7mm with us, don't we? Yes, there we go. We've got 7mm. So, why don't we go ahead and shoot him? But let me mark him first. I did not plan that at all. I didn't even see those guys while I was walking down here. That is a 5 though, so let's go ahead. And let's go back down and shoot him. Why are they not running? Okay, there we go. They are running now, but he is down. So we must have gotten a good hit on him. Very nice. I don't even know how they spooked, but you can see the snow now. See, this is kind of what it looked like before. And this is what it will look like after. And you'll see like the snow particles falling down. I just missed recording when the snow was actually falling down. But yeah, you'll see it. It's pretty obvious. And... Do we have our first diamond? I'm pretty sure they need 430 to make diamond and the higher estimate was 427. So I think he's going to be a troll, but why don't we have a look and pick him up? Could this be our first diamond of the beginner series? Oh, it's going to be close. This is going to be real close. He's a gold. He needed... Wow, he still needed almost 17 points to even be close to the diamond requirement. But we got a very nice hit in him with a right lung, liver, and stomach. Let's look at his true score if anybody wants to look at that. But yeah, that's a very cool looking caribou. I'm still trying to get a picture, like trying to get something so I can get him in our thumbnail. But I guess that will have to do. Uh, yeah, let's let me go ahead and save him and then I'll go around the map and unlock just a little bit more Okay, we are back now I unlocked a little bit of the map and reset the time so I kind of went to like the most Populated areas, I guess I could have gone to this outpost here, but since we're not going for bison today I figured we should not do that and since we're gonna be doing grizzly bears in today's video if I didn't mention that the rest of these outposts we can kind of do while we walk through here but let's first of all start with the rundown where every animal is except for the red fox so grizzly bears as you will see in today's video is gonna be all along this river system down here down here as well and in these bottom lakes right over here then gray wolves they have a huge like feeding rest zone up here they will drink in these northern lakes and basically in all of these lakes over here they're kind of just in these areas sometimes they will be a little bit down here but not too much moose i feel like i see these guys all over the map so my only hot spots would be this lake these lakes over here like these couple i would look in this area down here and then i know that they for sure drink along this bottom ridge over here not too sure about the other spots, just because I haven't hunted them too much on my own map. Moving on to Plains Bison. Plains Bison, of course, are going to be in the Crown Gold Wetlands. Over here in the Crimson Plains. And they will come up here to the Tikon Forest as well. Now, Caribou kind of drink everywhere as well. Along this kind of river system. Up in here, up in there. A little bit in the wetlands, kind of all around there. Pretty good over here, and occasionally you will see them down here as well. I don't think they go all the way down in this corner, but otherwise they're basically all over the map. Harlequin ducks at any bo body of water. I haven't seen them, however, a lot in the wetlands, so usually I just see them over here or in the crimson plains, but I do know that they can go on every single lake in the map so just kind of go around there this lake down here looks huge but not really much around it so not a big recommendation that i could give you for going there 
Let me look. Did I miss any animal? I don't think I did. Just I said I'm gonna skip out the red fox just because it's not really how do you say an animal that I hunt a lot so I don't have any knowledge about it but one thing I did forget to mention at the beginning we do have a gun that comes with this map and that is the 300 Canum Magnum Frontier or the Marches this animal this gun is basically the seven it's it's basically the 338 but with a, a four round magazine so very good and if you watch any of my other videos you will know that this is my second favorite in the gun in the game after the m1 we will be looking at the m1 next video because then we are going to be starting to using some of those dlc weapons but for today's video we are going to stick with the 7mm for these bears and we know we do need some more ammunition because i did shoot one or two things while we were going around here so let me just get 30 rounds of that and then i think we should be able to go for a little hunt on here because this is obviously a great way to make money because bears always are very good at giving you cash and we already have a female right over there so why don't we sneak up to her a little bit closer and take her out in just a second unless there's a male around because obviously males will give you a little bit more cash than females but this is basically what we're going to be doing we're going to be following this river down that way and just seeing what we can find but let's go ahead and get her down with the 7mm that should not be any sort of problem let's look is she going down i'm pretty sure she will so yeah let's just find a way to cross the river here usually this should be pretty simple usually i just look for something like this emerging out of the water and then you basically know that you can cross at that point because the water will be shallow enough i'm just not sure if we can already run over there from here or if we have to go kind of where that is so we might have to do a quick run around but while we do that while it was unlocking things we leveled up and we got a new perk point which we are going to be using for breath control just because i like holding my breath a little bit longer and i don't mind the steady hands slash wobbling of the guns as of right now because we're not going to be doing a lot of 300 meter shootings and i'd rather have a longer time to hold my breath and less time in between but yeah let me collect my grizzly bear that i shot here and then we're gonna go ahead and just oh there's another one there why don't we take you out too i mean if you're just gonna be standing there would be a waste not to get you for my cash but yeah let me pick those two female grizzlies up and then i'll be right back well i just saw the first one we hit we definitely did not get a vital organ hit on her so not gonna be following her but we got at least the second one and i would assume that that over there would be our female that we got a bad shot on but we got a nice left lung and liberate on her and yeah 1200 cash just for this female so these guys are really really good for cash and just in general they're easy to hit they're easy to find just make sure that you go there at the right times which is going to be from three to five in the morning but since i like to hunt more during the daylight i set my time to around about five o'clock in the morning then caribou will also join in because they drink from five to nine and plains bison are going to be at the other lakes as well which is always very very nice to have and I forgot, I can't even see if that's a male or female, but they do drink. You'll find a lot of them around here, especially where we're going to be going now in a second. That whole path has a ton, a ton of grizzly bears. So hopefully we can get our XP and cash up. Well, we've got a couple of caribous back there and one caribou and another grizzly bear back there. I will try and what is that over there? Okay, we just spooked a bear not too good but why don't we try and get that caribou down over there should be around about 150 ish why don't we see what we got there let's look is it gonna go down this is why i would like to have sight spotting just so i could see if i actually got a good shot or not but i guess hunting pressure will tell us and we were too close to the other ones so we spooked that grizzly bear there as well, but I thought we had a little bit more space. Apparently we didn't. 
But let's go back here and yeah, we can already see more grizzly bears. Apparently just females though. I saw some more back rubbishes standing there as well. But those were all females again as well. And wow, just female level ones and level twos. That is crazy, but hopefully we can still see something a little bit better. If not, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's not like they give a ton less cash. It's just that it would be nicer to get some males. Plus, those are the males you're also going to be able to put in the multi-mount at some point. So, I guess we'll just have to go ahead and live with this for now. And another level 1 female. Wow. You've got to be kidding me. I mean, while we're here, why don't we get those guys, or those females down just in case. For future respawns and for the cash and the XP in general. But we're about 150 out where we are right now. So, why don't we take... Okay, of course you're gonna turn right as I want to shoot you. Uh, let's look. Is there anyone else that's broadside and not a level one? I don't want to take that quarter angle again because with the 7mm that is a little bit harder to hit. Uh, I guess we're gonna go for the level one then. So not a level two, but should make a huge difference. I don't know, do we hit that? I really could not tell you. I can reload fast enough. Could we maybe get one here on the trot while they're running over? I mean, that one back there doesn't seem to care. This one over here does. If he's gonna or she's gonna stop doing the running animation, I would take a shot. Yes, there we go. And I think that should be a good hit. So at least we got one of them down. I don't know about the second one yet, but I'm gonna cross the river here, go back to that caribou, and then we're gonna collect those two females back there. Oh, and there's... Okay, that's just a level one that fled before. Thought we might have had a new one, but seemingly not. And should we try and go for that level one there as well? I feel like we should. We're decently close, and we could get a neck hit. And we did. Perfect. So we got potentially three grizzly bears down. Two for sure. One... Not too sure about that yet, but I guess we'll see that in a second. Because that's just the level one. And here's our caribou track, so let's follow that. They're already back, wow. I did not think that there would be one of them standing this close, but we got a vital hit, so definitely not going to run far. We still don't have our tracks leveled up very much, but that's not going to matter, because we almost have sight spotting once we level up next. But here's our four down. Got it with a nice left lung hit at 167 meters. And yeah, these guys give good cash as well. I mean, 1,210 is always very much appreciated. Plus XP 242 is also very good. Let's look. How much do we need to update, um, to level up? Let's go under here. Profile card. Yeah, we are almost there. We almost have sightseeing, but I mean, these grizzly bears are definitely going to take us there because we got... Let's look, how many do we have down? Yeah, we've got all three of them down, so we are definitely going to get a good amount of cash from that and also XP and rifle score as well, I think. I do not know how good Grizzly Bear for rifle score, but I guess we'll see that in just a second. And we can see two of them already, so that's the second one we shot. This one here is obviously the third one, and then the last one should be somewhere up there in the trees, but... I think this is the one that we got with the neck shot. It was either a neck shot or a heart shot. But yeah, we got a neck shot on this one. 1,200 cash, 159 XP. Ooh, and they give max rifle score with this kind of quick kill. So 62.5. I think 63 is the max that you can get in general. So if you need rifle score, definitely go for Grizzly Bear. It's going to be worth it. But can we see this one very quickly as well? Or did this female run far? Because I haven't shot too many, to be honest with you, with the 7mm. I usually use my 300, which basically they run 3 meters even if you just hit a single lung. And with the double lung, they basically drop on the spot. They're like, take one step and then they drop. But with the 7mm on that kind of a distance, they will still run a decent amount. I guess we'll see the exact number here in just a second once we pick it up. But they, yeah, they can run around, I'd assume, anywhere between 100 and 150 meters with a single lung. That's the only reason I would recommend the 300. But you obviously need 80k for that. 
But since you're watching the Yukon anyway, you already have the DLC and... Ooh, we finally get to unlock side spotting and we are going to showing that uh, off in just a second. This is, as you could probably guess, my favorite skill point that you can get or skill that you can get in the game. So look, if we're like this normally, we could spot this guy with the binoculars and if we would hover over him with the weapon, we could not do that. But now we can spot everything through the convenience of our scope, which is just so, so helpful. And one of my favorite features or skills that you can get. So, so happy we finally have that. Let me get over to that grizzly bear. And then, as you kind of saw how to hunt grizzly bears with just a small track, you can apply this to the whole lake. We are gonna be going over to my favorite spot on the entire map, or better say, my favorite lake. And here is our last grizzly bear. We got a nice left lung hit on the trot. Just a bronze though, nothing crazy. So let's accept this and let's move on to my favorite lake, which is definitely this one over here or this one over here. I would highly recommend you putting a tent over here just so you can fast travel there faster. And you can do that while you unlock the map. You can just take a tent with you while you try and get to that outpost up there and then just place one right in front of it. And this lake over here has caribou, harlequin duck and plains bison as well as moose. But the reason I love this lake most of the, mostly is because of how open it is. You can stand down there on that edge where that caribou is there right now, which we're going to quickly smoke with the 7mm. And yeah, that's a good hit. See, now I can always spot them right before I shoot, so I know if I have a good hit or not. But there's a ton of animals around here. Plus, in multiplayer, you don't need somebody to have a tan on a map. The house is right next to it. And yeah, back there are some caribou. Usually there's also some plains bison, but every map obviously a little bit different. And we don't seem to have plains bison here right now, but maybe they're still rendering in back there. Otherwise, just go on multiplayer if you're looking for plains bison and just come to this lake because you will not be disappointed. Just make sure that you're obviously within the time frame that plains bison, caribou, or moose drink. Not a huge 4, but again, 50 rifle score, perfect on the money, and 1200 cash. Plus, these guys give really good XP for some reason, which is obviously nice if you're trying to level up. But, a little bit disappointing, but you can see there's a moose back there. I'm just trying to see if we missed anything by any chance, but let me go over to that lake that I was talking about. Show you guys where you should be placing your tents around in what area, and then we're going to have a look what we can find there. But then I think we're going to end the first Yukon Valley video with that just because I don't want to overload you guys with new information or stuff about the map because you definitely want to get into a new map kind of slowly rather than having it all be thrown at you too quickly because then it can really be a little bit too much. So here we are now. Here's the local tower. I would just recommend you to run down just a tiny bit until you can see the first few animals here and you can see there's a ton around here quite a few plains bison but what i would recommend you do is just place a tent right around this kind of general area just so that you can see the animals below and then i'd say happy hunting i mean i'm just gonna go down a little bit further just to see if we can maybe have something on the other side and is i don't know that might be a melanistic over there I think we're going to shoot that guy anyway, but I just want to see if there's any caribou around here or if the caribou are nowhere to be seen because it doesn't seem like it. There only seems to be planes bison around, so... Oh, we've got our first definite rare of the series. We've got... I'm, I'm pretty sure that's an albino, but I'm, I also think that this is a melanistic. I mean, we're going to smoke this guy first either way. And then we're gonna go over there and shoot the other one. Be informed, however, Plains Bison do have a tendency to get aggressive at you, so if you do ever see any Plains Bison running at you, don't be worried. They just are down to get you. But yeah, that Plains Bison is definitely gonna go down. Now let's just look if we can get close. 
and not maybe exit out of my game and see if we can get that what looks to be an albino out and we have a level four there as well but it's not max weight so max weight for these guys is i think it's up to 1250 kilograms but yeah that is definitely an albino down there so let's look when are we about 150 meters out from him or her so we're at 250 now so let's maybe try and get to 200 just so we don't have too much bullet drop but oh, i think it's an albino i always get these guys mixed up with the logistics but yeah I'm, I'm gonna be comfortable taking that shot i just don't want to get too close and spook it by any chance but yeah let's go ahead and take that shot and you can see i can perfectly demonstrate now what the aggressive state means because as you can see all the other planes bison are running away fleeing except for this one because it is aggressive at me and is going to be coming charging right towards me and i can see the pink snout so that is going to be an albino very very nice let's pick that up that is going to be our first rare of the series and we got our first troll as well which is insane i would have loved to have a diamond but we got trolled by that caribou at the beginning of the video so we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for that to happen but i'm pretty sure we could make that happen once we go on Verhunga, which is going to be our next map by the way we are going to be back here on the yukon maybe for one more episode and then we're going to go on Verhunga. but let's me put this guy in the trophy manager just because i don't actually have I don't want to waste our cash right now for the text. And here's our last Plains Bison, so let me harvest them. I did think this was... Oh my god, we've got two rares down. We've got a Melanistic and an Albino at the exact same lake. For anybody that doesn't know this, this is insane. This is not what is supposed to happen, but... The game is going to be like that sometimes. Wow. Sadly not a gold. It was quite a bit off of being a gold, but double rare at the same lake. I feel like that should just show you that this lake is really good. But I'll let you guys enjoy this Plains Bison while I do the outro. If you enjoyed today's video, please do make sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out a lot and tells YouTube that you enjoy my content. Secondly, make sure to go down below in the Discord. Link is in the description for any further questions, tips, or if you want to find other people to play with as well. Thirdly, make sure to comment down below what you guys think about the Yukon Valley and if you're excited for me to go on Verhunga next. And of course, if you're new around here or you haven't subscribed yet, definitely do hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so you're always notified when I live stream or I upload new content just like this. And as a quick information, I will be trying to upload this beginner series every single Monday, so this will come out once a week. With that being said, have a good day, bye bye, and peace.